They're away racing fashion queen amongst the last of them to get going brutus maximus began nicely he'll come across uncle lino will lead them early from mr mount walker and our brutus maximus cruising up there into second spot our ideal is fourth cable guy fifth the length away golden bonnie followed by chiclet trade prize and then further back behind them between horses came lyle's choice kazkazi settled in the second half of the field on the inside of fashion queen and two lengths further back chief archer and celtic diva to Together. They head out past the 1,000 metre mark. Uncle Lino, the grey galloper, holding sway in front, leads the way by a length over Brutus Maximus. How ideal, travelling third inside Mr Mount Walker, who's getting a great toe into the race. A length and a half to Cable Guy. Golden Bonnie on the move around it at the 7.50 mark. Chicklet down on the inside of that duo. A length and a half to Trade Prize, sitting out there wide. Lyle's choice in between horses. Kaz Kazi tucked up near the rail. Fashion Queen back in the field and in traffic chief archer next and last of all celtic diva they hit the 450 they're about to set sail for home uncle lino tackled down by brutus maximus and mr mount walker brutus maximus on the outside reached the lead mr mount walker quickly claimed it though two lengths cable guy and our ideal followed by golden bonnie trade prize fashion queen is getting between horses mr mount walker tackled by cable guy at the 150 and now fashion queen chicklet coming through on the outside Going to the lead, Cable Guy, Fashion Queen coming though. It's Cable Guy, Fashion Queen, Cable Guy a long neck. Cable Guy beat Fashion Queen, Chicklet third, Mr Mount Walker ran fourth. Then Kaz Kazi, our ideal, Lyle's choice, Uncle Lino, Golden Body, Trade Prize, Celtic Diva, Chief Archer. And uh, gee, Brutus Maximus, something might be awry there, has pulled up very abruptly on passing the post. Being dismounted from and uh, unsaddled a report to come brutus maximus cable guy will get the money here cable guy getting home to score number 10 the martin knox train gilding and uh, a nice change of fortune here in the city as well for andrew castle doesn't get too many opportunities he punches one home today, beating Fashion Queen Chicklet, Mr. Mount Walker, in fourth place. And uh, they've quickly unsaddled Brutus Maximus. He's seemingly all OK in terms of how he's moving out off the track. But clearly something amiss there with him and dismounted and unsaddled almost immediately by its rider there in Chris Parnham. Honours, though, with the uh, cable guy here scoring. He's by Galar out of Pure Meteor for Mrs. D. Knox, trained by Martin Knox, Andrew Castle, the rider, scored by a long neck over eight, Fashion Queen by Al Maher from Fashion Princess, William Pike for Adam Durant, and 11 Chicklet by Tavistock, Dan Ben Pierce, Clint Johnston Porter in third place. The time's 137.68. 138 a long neck a short head 10 8 11 and 5 after the running of race number seven a good result here for martin knox and certainly for jockey andrew castle the last of it at 651 one chuck a luck is the scratching out of the final event of the day